Now then, how's it going? Welcome to Jack's Content. Today I'm going to make a photo for the Billingham competition and I just wanted to document how we went about it. So, first of all, it starts off with the concept. So the concept for the Billingham thing, the reason, the reason that I wanted to do the concept was um, I've submitted a lot of other pictures to the Billingham other competitions and bags and I've seen all the other ones and they're really really great pictures. Now the thing that struck me about them was there's a lot of them that are kind of catalogue type images, you know, the, the kind of things you'd see and it's like oh it's the bag in a nice setting, appropriate setting, relevant setting and a really nice image. So I thought everybody's going to be trying to do that and I've done that before. So I wanted to come up with something that had a bit of a concept to it. Now my background being from a marketing angle, I was interested in trying to get a point across with the image that was relevant to one of Billingham's USPs. So I thought, well what is it about it? It's a, it's a great product, it does a lot of things by being quality and simple. And the thing that struck me about it was the bags I use the bags I use, I've used this one for years. It's been everywhere, There's, it's as good as the day I bought it and it has been all over the place with me. Great bag, love it. And the black means I can just have it with anything in terms of style. Recently just got into this one. The small one, I'm loving the little handle on the top. Really useful. And I've started using this one more. Since doing the blogging thing and trimming down all my equipment to the bare minimum, I don't need a bigger bag. I don't even need my laptop. So I use my tablet with everything. So it all fits in here. Camera, couple of spare lenses, batteries, cards, cables, tablet, notebooks. Everything fits in this little one. And I go everywhere with it. Now, I live out in the sticks, so a lot of my stuff's out in the forests and the woods and countryside and that kind of thing. But if I decide that I want to go into the city, I can take my bag with me. And it doesn't look out of place. And this is where I thought of the concept. Billingham bag, great in the countryside, also in the city. Style works in both places. So that was what my image was going to be about. So now we've got a concept. I'm all packed with my blogging gear. And the tiniest tripod in the world. Two locations. Four hours, let's hit the road. First location is in the woods because I need to do the countryside part of the image. But we're looking for somewhere that looks in perspective like a street. Because the, the location we're going to second is in the city and it's like a, a narrow, not narrow, it's like a street avenue thing. And we think we're going to get there about lunchtime, which should mean, as it's a north-south facing street, the sun should be behind us. So I want to match the lighting. So this bit is nice and straightish. Nice light. Sun behind us. It does go uphill though. stay out of the, the lights behind us so I've got to stay out of it but with the wide angle on it looks like he's bloody miles away 85 mil works but all I can see is the bag sun's gone and the sun's gone we've lost the light oh well Done, which is the countryside. Now we have to head into the city, which is Leeds, and do the other one if we can get past all the mud. Made 
level six. It's not seven though, is it? My prediction of where the sun was going to be is absolutely spot on. <laughs> I'm so pleased with that. <laughs> some lunch. I've been promised a nice place. <laughs> all the images and got everything together. I did a quick test on my phone to see if they'd line up and I've got the perspective right and they seem to be doing it. So I'm going to go into the edit now. This is where I'm just going to do a screen record so you can see me merging the two images together. I'm not going to go into it because it's, it's not that complicated and there's stuff out there about it and I might go into it at a later stage but it's merging photos in Photoshop with masks and all that kind of stuff so you should know how to do that. <coughs> If not, let me know. If you want to know more about that, let me know and I'll do a video on that. So there's the final image for the competition. Uh, I hope it goes further than the last one that I did. I know they're going to publish one of those. Uh, but. I just wanted to do something interesting and different and something that wasn't a catalog image, something that had a bit of a message to it that, you know, if Billingham decide they want to use this image, it can fit into their material. Um, I don't know whether the style fits into the material because it's my style. <laughs> so that might discount it off the bat, but did something different, something with a bit of interest, something that might stand out. That's it. Thank you for watching. Glad to have you here at Jack Content. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It'd be great to know that you're finding it interesting. If you want to know anything more about any of the techniques or things in it, drop it in the comments or get in touch on social media. I pretty much live on Instagram at the moment at Jack Content. Love to hear from you there. Let's swap images. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Have a great day. I've been Jack. This is Jack Content. Ta-ra.